Hi everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center. Welcome back to our channel. So in our previous video, we have learned how you can use the construction line and how you can magnetize it. In today's video, we will learn how you can use the construction plane and how you can magnetize it along with what is the use of a magnetic construction plane. So we have two structures over here. One is our steel structure and the second one is our concrete structure. So first of all, we will try this on the steel structure and we'll try to understand what can it do. So for that, all I need to do is to go to the edit, then construction object and select plane. From there, I have to draw a plane. So here my construction plane is ready. Now all I have to do is to select this construction plane and then magnetize it. So I have selected my construction plane and now I will make it magnetic. Now let's see what it does. So I will go to the move spatial then click on linear and move this construction plane in jet direction by 2000 millimeter. Now I will have to click on move. So you can see everything that was touching this construction plane hasn't moved like the columns have been elongated and the beams moved with the construction plane so you can use the construction plane to shift a set of objects in any direction you want now let's try it on the concrete model so for that we will have to make a construction plane over our concrete model so i will just draw a construction plane so I have my construction plane over here. Now I will just select it and then move it. So from here you can see that all the structural members that were touching this construction plane has been moved. Even this end of these two slabs has been moved because these were touching the ends of this construction plane. But these ends remain static because they were not touching the construction plane so you can use this technique if you want to make a model in which you want to construct a slab for the drainage purpose or you want to make a model of sloped roof and if you want to join our professional training for tecla structures then you can just give a call on this number and in this training we will cover all these points like how you can study the structural drawings, introduction of tecla structures, creation of the grid lines, modeling, application box, reinforcement detailing, drawings and also the report generation that is rebar scheduling. So that was all for today. See you in the next video.